Viper just purely outranges you, plays with shrapnel. Viper is not highly mobile. Viper does not just walk up and right-click a sniper. So your lane dominance here is just probably not there for XM. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you on that, John. It's uh, it, it definitely a nice switch up as they are going to go for a very early team fight. Ava's already been spotted out. Game's back is there. He is in the middle of nowhere now. Nice dual breath. Nice avalanche from Frisk. Is gonna hold them back. In fact, they might be able to look for a turn now. Light Strike Ray does land onto Lunfer. Poison attacks there as well, but they can't quite get the damage output they needed. Still running. Eren does have another glimpse in five. Another dual breath, another wild axes, and now Eren's in danger. He is certainly set to fall as a Light Strike Ray landing from Fly Fly onto two. They'll take Eren down. Frisk is gone. But oh my so god. Is small KK. <laughs> and you know, John. <laughs> That Viper we talked about that was going to struggle against a Sniper, <laughs> suddenly he's got a double kill. That he does. I mean, he sees the Shrapnel level 1 as well, so he just kind of has to sit back in the lane. Uh, once Shrapnel fades, you can run up, start spitting at your enemy. I mean, that's, that's massive for Piggy Killer. That was Poke playing aggressive. Like, they have a good understanding. Their lineup, level 1, is big, but they overcommit. Not only do they lose the heroes, they also commit the ward in that area. And I'm not sure about how much info you can get there. You're not going to have rune control over that ward. Yeah. So Piggy Killer does manage to feel a little bit better coming out from that engage. And for small KK, I mean, sure you have Shrapnel. XM can walk past it and spit at you. There is always that to play with here on the side of Piggy Killers. So we'll see. It, sh it should still be more manageable for small KK. Despite the kills for XM, he had to go for early bottle as you tend to. The sniper is just a little bit snappier on the auto attack and of course hits further away. So you can try to just leverage that up against the Viper, but now yeah, without take aim, it's not that much further away than the Viper. In fact, XM has a 25 range advantage, so he can orb walk pretty nicely if he finds the opportunity. That he can. We'll, we'll have to see how this one pans out. Like, it's going to be a very interesting mid lane. I think for now, because small KK doesn't have the, the biggest range in the world, you, you are right. Like, XM can just kind of kite in and out, we'll just all walk rather with this Viper and well, we'll see how it pans out. I mean, it's still very early to tell. We, we should have a look at the side lanes, of course. Maybe perhaps top lane where you are going to see the Disruptor. Eren already taking a fair bit of damage here on this Disruptor is outside. Can be very lane dominant here on this Jakiro. We'll chase him down, see if he can get in range for a dual breath, but might just wait till level three because you do have Killer and Fly Fly there as well. So this lane, even if the laner has been nerfed significantly, it is still quite a dominant lane, it feels like, for the side of Piggy Killer, unless you get caught out by a, a rogue glimpse here from Eren into an onslaught by Killer. I could certainly see some issues breaking out there, but I think when you've got Jakiro in your lane, especially once he has level two, level two Jewel Breath, you just can't underestimate the amount of magic damage they can pump out with this laning phase. Yeah, it's a lot of magical output. It's going to be a little bit hard for Eren to just play tag. He actually doesn't offer for Kinect Field. He knows he needs to trade with Thunderstrike to try to force an issue out or force more region out from outside and just buy space for Killa. Which, Killa is getting some room to just CS. There's the glimpse back, but no follow through. Again, no way to lock in with no level in the Kinetic Field. And so Fly Fly is just going to be able to farm anyway. As long as this Lina still farms, I'm sure her tempo is thrown off a little bit with the nerfs to Fiery Soul. Light Strike Ray being a little bit more mana costly as well, but you still are Lena. At the end of the day, you still dish out a ton of damage when your timings are met. Oh, bottom lane, bit of a jump in here on Ava. Thing is, with the Space Master, he is not having a very fun time. It with the axes up, like there's not really much Frisk can do against this this Pulse Five Silencer. And of course, even Lun first been chipping away with the level two slider fists top lane outside. It's a very nice deny on himself with the neutrals. Be very happy about that, as it looked like he had absolutely zero chance of escaping that uh, that fight. So nice deny away. But talking back about the bot lane, John, like Ava, it seems like he's going to have to go into that classic farming the ancient stacks because this is not going to be a, an easy lane whatsoever for him. It certainly isn't. Like it, it's going to be a lot slower for start, and you should have a good time for Lanfer to just build up. You know, have, become that real carry of the team right now scale up, start jumping the back line. If you isolate the Lina, the Ember's a really good solution to the Lina. Just jump onto her, burst her down before the BKB. You can slow down that pacing from Fly Fly. 
Again, the oh, mid lane. tiny combinations and best. Oh. XM, he had a few misses uphill. In fact, Eren's now looking for a glimpse back on the Viper. Not going to be able to get the to get it though, because Frisk does get a nice avalanche. But instead, Frisk might just be dead. And it seems like he will go down. Eren able to pick up the kill here on the Disruptor. That Observer Ward in the mid lane really paying dividends here for small KK. He was able to scout out the, the tiny rotations that were incoming. And in small KK, he's already had a pretty rough time in the mid lane, even as a sniper against Viper. It just hasn't been any sort of free farm kind of lane. With Frisk around on the tiny, it just becomes that much scarier. So you comp the Avalanche, you're just as good as dead as Ava. He's going to die down a bot lane. Lumpur able to secure the kill with the slide of fist. Yeah, it's a lot more back and forth. We kind of saw this from Poke last game as well, where their laning phase was pretty darn strong up against Piggy Killer's lineup. I think the one big issue right now is XM has way too many denials. Like, sure, the CS isn't the highest, but 14 to 17 on a Viper. He's a full level head just off the back of taking away all those creeps, all that EXP outside from small KK. They might be able to try down bot as well. Yeah, they may. They are going to try. Lunfer, he's dropping rather low here on the Ember. Might just go down as he just not connect the chains onto Ava. That's a huge pick off for Ava. Like, he has had an unbelievably bad lane. But he somehow managed to get to the point where he has a Helm of the Over... Or rather, Helm of the Dominator up. Not Dominator, excuse me. Helm of the Iron Will is what I was meant to say. And once you have the Helm of the Iron Will, like, just the region and bonus armor you get really does change everything. It's mid. Three heroes rotate after XM. A sort of glimpse back there from Eren. That'll mean XM should just go down. Though an avalanche is going to be up from Frisk. They might trade. The small KK still fighting. Is barely going to survive. 50 HP. Yeah, I mean, you've got the double rate band on your sniper to right click start to hurt a little bit less. You have a lot more HP to play with as well. It's a massive rotation out from the side of Poke to ensure that happens, even dragging Lon Fur around. But it's well worthwhile. You do not want the sniper to be too far behind, and now they might be able to run down Ava. They may. We're all Ava. Still being chased. Frisk there to try and save with a toss back onto Ranfu Dell. Maybe they can kill the silencer off, and they will. But they still get the Beastmaster kill first. As top lane, Eren. Try for a TP play out. Is going to make it. Flyfly Fly had the Light Strike Ray on cooldown, and outside did not have Ice Path leveled up. Just unfortunate timing, really on the edge there for Eren, but does waste time away from the Lina. Again, giving some space out to Killa to try to catch up on that Primal Beast. The back and forths, I mean, it, it it's working out in, to an extent for Poke. I don't think you're stopping Piggy Killer from hitting enough item beats, though. Like, Ava, despite being so pretty far behind in the Beastmaster, I mean, he still had, he's still going to have a good timing on the Dominator overall. Like, only 500 gold away, a little bit slower than you mostly see. You are Chris. at 6 for Lonfer, so killing him is not really up there. Yeah, Lonfer, I mean, he's still holding on, using any remnants, but eventually does, does kind of show that he's not going to be just putting up with the damage Frisk is putting in. Just leaves the building. Problem is, John, look at this rotation. Poke, three-man smoke up right behind Ava. He has been the target of both games. Just constantly making sure this offlane is not working out in their favor. And Ava, he's a tanky boy with that Helm of the Iron Will up. But eventually he will fall. A small KK is able to find the damage. And of course, Frisk tries for a TP play out. Not going to quite make it. They won't be able to give the kill to <laughs> the tips immediately from Eren. <laughs> I, mean, I was going to say, like, obviously they wanted the sniper to take the kill. But Run Fu Dao said, screw that. I'll take it. It's mine. Thank you. I mean, sometimes you just have to secure it for your team. Can the movements <laughs> coming out from Poke, they do feel good. But is the is the Beastmaster really the hero you want to stop, though? You look at Flyfly, you look at what he's getting up top with his level 6, and he might find his kill on Killa if he's not careful. No, he won't. Doesn't like love Flyfly. the Lucina, though. Radiant are scanning. Oh, Killa? I mean, he has Pulverize up here, John. He might just go in with that. He does? Flyfly? Can you fight back? Oh, no, he can't! Uh-oh. Nah. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah, that's the that's the one big saving grace that 
I was just talking about, you know, your Lena's free farming off of all that movement, but Killa finding these moves onto Lena counteracts that. So it's balancing out the game a lot more. Finding Ava again. I mean, Ava's just not... I mean, he's, he's able to get out, John, but they, they, they really focus on this man. They do not want this Beastmaster having a game and... It does make sense, right? Because Ava is one of the arguably better players. Like, he tends to have a lot of impact in this pos 3 role, so I'm not quite surprised that they decide, like, this is the guy we've really got to shut down. Yeah, he... You... No. Aaron is caught. No way out of that one. He is going to go down. In fact, Frisk. There's going to be a slight chase onto him. Last word will pop. Curse of Averna is still going, but he should be okay to survive through it. They're not going to start chipping away at this mid tower. XM even going after a chase after Ran Fu Dao, but not going to be able to really keep up with the silence, so we'll have to let him go. They're just slowly chipping away at the tier 1 mid. That's all they're doing. They've got a Jakira with level 1 liquid fire. The ice path does drop, but it doesn't really land. Kind of give the, the warding position away, and that's going to be enough. Piggy Killer, they'll leave the building, but maybe not without losing XM first. Because Lun Fu is here. Glimmer's back is out from Aaron, and XM, he has overstayed his welcome. He will go down eventually. Right, so they're punishing that tempo from Piggy Killer. Like, poke, just slowing down XM and Ava is actually massive. Like, these heroes need a decent start to have that momentum build up for the team, and it's just not coming out there. The only hero that feels stable is Fly Fly on Lina. To be fair, you're not that far behind on your Viper and on your... Beastmaster, but you're not ahead as well. So the timing's being stalled does give more play for the side of Poke. 10 to 5, less than 1k lead still on Piggy Killer. They're looking oh, at Lun Fur. Global Silence pop, they don't have the damage. They were looking for a follow up ice path there, but with the Global Silence out, they just could not secure. Oh, nice ice path from outside. Never mind, they locked him down. He was almost done with the TP, but they just couldn't get him. And now Lan Fur. Oh, that is unfortunate. He forgets about the Hawk Vision that can be provided by Ava. And that was enough for outside to land the Ice Path just in the nick of time. Yeah, they find some punishment coming out. And you're ensuring that this Ember is also kind of stuck at the same farm as your Viper. And to, inst to an extent, your Beastmaster. Because... Everyone's pretty much at equal farm outside of Fly Fly. So you're keeping this game even. You're ensuring that your tempo is not going to be overrun. They might find more down bot, though. They find a punishment. The outside going to go down. I think that's the, the one thing as well, like, for Poke, is they are really concentrating on making sure these tier 1 towers do not get given away for free. And they're doing a very good job of it. Like, no tier 1 has dropped yet for, for Poke. They have held on to every single one. Oh, so even Flyfly, as you can see, is just taking the Ancients right now. So Ava's not going to have that ca that catch-up farm going his way. He'll take a little bit of the, the gold, but overall, you know, he's not going to get anywhere near that Helm of the Overlord timing he's looking for. So they are kind of putting their eggs into the uh, the old Lena basket. And I question whether that works out, because this hero, it is only a, a remnant of its former self. It is nowhere near what it used to be. Yeah, I mean, it's been nerfed pretty hard to the ground. Pro teams aren't picking it up as often. I still feel like it works. Like, it, I mean, again, like, the big one's really fiery soul stacks going down, so you're not as much of a machine gun and insane chaser, but once you reach late game, the hero still has the range, the hero still has the output. It has enough range to kind of stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a sniper almost. So you can kind of try to deal with that issue just by having Fly Fly be a menace and just trying to run down. I think your concern on Piggy Killer is just chain-stunning Lon Fur, because it's going to be a tough call. You need to get the Ice Pad, you need to get the Roar, and you might even need the LSA from Fly Fly. Like, he will need to join in and try to play with all of that setup to get enough of a window that Lon Fur can be taken down. Lon Fur is going for an interesting build, though. Like, he's going for Travels into Radiance on the Ember, which Radiance Ooh. Ember isn't too bad, I'm not sure about the timings in this one. It does feel like, considering the state of the game and the pacing, it's not going to be the quickest Radiance timing coming out. So until that item's up, like your farming pace is mainly just jumping across the map with your travels, 
you know, your creep killing isn't going to be as fast as if you had, say, an early Maelstrom up here. But if they're considering a slower game, which, you know, with a sniper, you're kind of fine with, then this buildup will have a lot of value. Like, the burn is not something any of these heroes on Piggy Killer really want to deal with all too well. The Viper, in particular, is not here that tends to go all in on something like, say, something that just counteracts that evasion chance. So you've always got a lot more EHP for your entire team just off the back of Lawn Fur once that time is up. Oh, Ava, going to get caught by a glimpse back outside, though, is there. He's trying to help out, but Killer still just aiming down the Beastmaster. We'll be able to secure on his run, Fudel. They were trying for a TP out, but we'll go down in the meantime. Is Lon Fur now going to rotate? They've got the whole side of poke, but they found the sniper. Oh, oh small KK is gone. They'll keep fighting. They'll keep trying to find Fly Fly, but another nice ice pass from outside. Gonna now enable Fly Fly. They just keep going. Is Lon Fur jumped right in? Oh, oh he's God. given his life away for this. It's a full team wipe. I mean, on the bright side, at least it's only both supports being left alive. For, for Piggy Killer, so you still get a lot of value, but it's well worth it for Piggy Killer. Because now they can secure the bottom T1. Yeah, you're more than happy, and I was a bit surprised he managed to catch out small KK. Like, he was just standing there, did not expect the flank, did not expect, and again, maybe the vision coming out from Ava for the Hawks. They just get that positioning for the Lina to just hammer in. And you can see how strong the Lina still is in right-click output, despite the nerfs. Like, she still hits like a truck, if you allow her to. She still melts your cores. Uh, the Gleipnir is almost done now on Fly Fly as well. Some more control coming out from the side of Piggy Killer to help compensate for a lack of reliable AoE. And you can just try to keep running and gunning once that's up. Like, the travels on Lan Fur, yes, he can join these fights early, but he really wants to farm for a little bit more. Like your Ember is just not tanky enough. Ava's being focused again. Frisk in the meantime does go down, almost taking Aaron with him. But with the glimpse back, Ava well, actually ended up getting the disruptor. And now around Fudel, he's going to drop. Small KK in the meantime, he's got a double. But in comes XM. Small He'll KK? Find the sniper. TP is available, but he's not going for it. He's going for the fight. He probably could have TP'd away there because Ice Path was already used. So now you lose the sniper, and it seems like you might even lose kill. Although he does have, ah, uh, he did have onslaught. Whoopsie daisy. Yeah, I mean, I think he was just trying to get a quick onslaught out just to break the range. It was not channeled nearly long enough, and Picky Killer suddenly come out on top. 4K net worth lead shaping up for themselves. They're keeping Lon for shut down. They're keeping Killer down. Even small KK is forced to go in a little bit early to these fights where it's just not comfy for the sniper yet. And he's got no way of saving himself. No early four staff, no shard up. He's going all in on damage here as well for small KK with a Q. He's got the Daedalus coming out instead of any of that save. So it's all in. His team will have to protect him a ton of the time. They drop double sentries on mid just to clear out the Hawk. Yeah, small mistakes happen. But does. I am a bit concerned about small KK. Like, n not no Hurricane Pike, not even the concussive grenade. If he's caught, he is dead. And we've seen him get caught out multiple times now. Certainly, it's not been a, a, an amazing game, to say the least, here for the sniper. Certainly not invincible, that's for sure. Keep in mind, like, you have Frisk with the blink up, so you definitely have the initiation. Like, the toss back on the sniper is more than enough. We know how unsurvivable this hero is when you don't have a four staff. And what we're about to see, it, I think, is Ice Path is going to lock down the Ember. So Lon I mean, he's still going to be just fine. They aren't going to fully commit, knowing that his team was right behind him. But a nice glimpse back on outside might be able to set them up with a decent team fight. They have got the Jakira to get started. Already off to a good start as Killer. Pulverize up the Ancient Black Dragon, but Frisk's going to jump in for a toss back onto the Primal. There is going to be a Global Silence committed immediately. Making sure there's no raw to follow up here from Ava. But now Global's down. So you got a pause 5 Jakira kill for all of this. And I, I think, yeah, an immediate smoke up. Picky Killer, they're just not going to hesitate. I mean, Global Sun's down. It's a big opening. Just to save your Primal Beast from the Avalanche toss. You can just go for more.
Oh, they're gonna fight a double here, John. Small KK. He was right next to Ran Fudel. They were running up the river. They could not believe what they just saw. Killer's still trying. Pulverize was out on Frisk. It's just not gonna make the difference. Now Ran Fudel's gone. And Small K, I mean, he oh. literally has no escape. Like, he, this max no. damage build is fine He's... if you have perfect positioning, but like this, it's it's not gonna work. He's really going all in. I thought he'd at least switch out for a casual force staff or at least a hurricane fight, but he's got the Crystalis up. So for Poke, if they, if it does come out to high ground, it does feel pretty hard for the side of Piggy Killer to cross there, even with Aegis up. At the least, you have Alina, so you know you get Hawk Vision out. Once the tier three is cleared, you can still hit the racks. You have the range. I mean, Lina is still Lina. And just like a pseudo sniper at some points just hits a lot faster the side of poke i mean they still have answers they still have solutions but they have to be much more careful about when they use this global silence because you use that up piggy killer will hunt you down like that is your one counterplay right now on the side of poke outside of static storm your global counter fight is going to be that global silence and these defensive uses it provides so many holes for Piggy Killer to uh, just poke into. Like there's, there's just nothing that stops him. Like, all right, you silenced us when we avalanche toss. Cool, that's a very low cooldown. We'll just go again. Just go again. That's the, uh, that's the way to do it. Apparently, T2 top tower. Uh, it's, it's really not going to last here. No defense to come out either. You, you just kind of accept the fact that it is down. Now 7k behind is Poke. Make it a little bit more. Fly Fly, even if the the Lina has been nerfed to Oblivion, with this kind of build-up, it still hits very, very hard. And so, you're not very safe. Like, he's got a Gleipnir up against that Sniper. He lands that, the, the small KK is just gone. This is where the, the four staff start paying off. But nobody's got one. We do see the Silencer... Run food out. He's trying to build a four star, but it's it's all happening too late. The small KK does get the TP away. Lunther is stuck behind at the moment. It's like he might go for a bit of a creep skip, but they seem to know he's in the tree line somewhere. He'll go for the TP in the end. He won't risk it. No Run food out though. He is gone. Meanwhile, Fly Fly is gonna find small KK. Ow. Oh no! Four? He's just finding the no, one. No, no, why? One. No. The Lunfer, are you sure? There's an eight as well. Yes, I, I don't know if this is gonna work. Light Striker eight oh, does God. land. It's a no lot of way. damage. And Frisk no doesn't have the avalanche. Oh, Killer pops the BKB to get out. Oh, oh God. So it's that was hard to watch. Like you could just see it happening too. In goes Frisk. Play oh, Pira. no. Yeah, they find another. All right. So everything's kind of falling apart right now for the side of Poke. You know, I mean, you see Small KK, he's queuing up that Hurricane Pike now. I'm pretty sure he feels like he could have had the Force Staff and had a little bit more for himself instead of this Crystal. It's like, it, it's just not a safe game. Like, on paper, it looks like a safe game. Because theoretically, yeah, you shrapnel off the angles that the tiny finds. Oh boy. I mean, this time around, they don't get the toss back at least. So they might actually have the tiny kill, though Frisk is proving to be a little bit annoying to try and kill off. He's actually still running. Finally going down to Lon Fur, but in the meantime, Small KK is so much damage. He will survive on 100 HP. But I can't say the same for Lon Fur. He chased real deep trying to go after Frisk. That is a support tiny you killed off for your own life. And it will certainly not feel very worthwhile after you die. No, certainly not. And the push is still coming out from the side of Piggy Killer as well. Like this is XM without his shard on top of all of these. So if he does get that shard up and running, additional minus armor, additional damage onto the buildings as well for the side of Piggy Killer. And Piggy Killer now 18 to 24, 15k lead coming out their way. Poke. Yeah, I... They, they go for like this really cool flex, you know, like again, Sniper versus Viper, which you feel like, sure, the Viper shouldn't have that great of a time, but XM just denies the entire creep wave, and then what do you do? 
know, he's still gonna get the EXP. They still have these aggressive supports on side of Piggy Killer with a tiny. Frisk in particular has been doing a lot for his team here. And you kind of left Fly Fly alone. Oh, like, yes, you rotated a couple of times. No. Yeah, they got a great oh, ice pump here, John. Outside gets him from the high ground. Killer's in trouble now as well, trying to just fight through the BKB, but he's doing no damage with the trample. So at least they will, well, they use the Static Storm just in case. It's very desperate times here for Poke as Lunfer's dead. How did Lunfer die? Just Lena things, I suppose. Just, just leave near to LZ. He does have a Gleipnir, to be fair. Probably had enough to... Like, he's got, what? Four and a half seconds of disable with the Light Strike Array and Gleipnir. That's probably enough very for balanced. the Lina. Yeah. A very balanced hero, but a very big nuke still on hand. They're just diving. Oh, yeah, Frisk, he's not afraid. He just baits them forward. Roar is out. Frisk is actually tied to the Tier 4 Towers. <laughs> he actually gives them his life. He's like, please, just glimpse me. Take it. Take my life. <laughs> Yeah. I'm at the least, respawns are short, so you can't fight again. But at the tiny, you don't have that repositioning spell. They're still lined up to just take the mid racks, though. And they will only stop the melee and they force a BKB out. Okay. So they force some resources from Piggy Killer. They can't fully commit for like the full onslaught of the, ra of the racks. But at the same time, this game looks so hard for Poke to play. Like, it just feels so hard. Like, this timing on the Radiance for Lanfer, it's going to come out soon now, only 250 away, but 25, 26 minute Radiance, not really the timing we we're looking for there. Fly, fly? Not again. This can't happen again. Is he really dead again? Oh. Okay, no. no he's a, he's <laughs> he used a... to leave me early. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm, not, I'm going to show some mercy. Fly, fly's like, all right, you're fine. Get but you better out watch here. out, you know? Respect me. <laughs> Get out. That's the thing, like, again, like, the lean has been nerfed, but in the right hands, against the right team, it's still a huge problem. Zah. Uh... Well, we're gonna see them just go in again very soon, I think. I think yeah, you're literally just waiting for Ava to have his, uh, his BKB back up. And then it's like, yeah. alright, now we can go. Your BKB's up. Let's go. He's 20 seconds away right now, so they'll, they'll just start pushing out the wave. No reason to really hold back. If they're paying close attention, they'll find a double damage rune down at the bot rune spot right now, which would be a very valuable asset to try and go high ground with. But for now, it is not going to be spotted, though. I say that, XM. He's going to run into it. We'll leave it for his art. Uh... No, he won't leave it. He's taking it himself. So DD rune on the Viper. Yeah, I mean, you already have enough damage on Alina, right? You might as well try to match that pace in your Viper. Hulk, trying to go for a smoke play out. Map is dark, but if they catch these heroes one by one right now, it could be big. It's a desperate play, but XM's alone. Could pay off. Mind you, he does have a BKB up, and Killer again cancels off the Onslaught. XM is fine, but it does allow them a bit of farming space. Gets the outpost back. Sure, like, your your triangle's still occupied, but now Poke, they, they've at least got some income, right? It's better than zero. Yeah better than zero you, you get some room to try to get the timings the uh, poor staff not done for small kk at least he has a concussive top tower is under attack. mid lane they're still looking to go in i think here poke but problem is you, you really can't go off that high ground right now you really can't uh, oh and now uh, Aaron's on the high ground <laughs> <laughs> wait how did that happen you got pushed Was up that? onslaught Aaron, he's going to go down. Oh, oh no. Wait, hold on. Was that actually... How does Onslaught make yes. you go up? It pushes you, right? It pushes your allies. It pushes anyone in your path. So he pushed. He pushed Aaron up. I saw it with the Onslaught. Just kicked him off. It's like, oops. Oh. It happens. It happens. I mean, I, I thought it was Concussive Grenade for a second, but then I was like, wait a minute. That's not how it works. No. You know how Concussive okay. Grenade should work? It should work What's like up? a flash ban. Can you imagine if it was like a CSGO flash? <laughs> <laughs> You've because been playing too much out, you can't CSGO, see. John. <laughs> I have, I really have. Uh, it's too fun, Mike. This is uh -oh. not fun, though. No, Lunfer is dead. He's gone. Oh. Uh, in Ice Path, it's a two and a half second stun. It, it does 
really suck if you get caught in that. And it lasts a lot longer now as well. Oh, oh Frisk. Double Avalanche forcing out the Global Silence. They're going to try and fight this one out. Lon first ball back. He's in the backside, but Fly Fly's oh, caught God. him. That's an immediate tieback for Lon Fur. Killer is still barely alive. The chase is on for him. He's okay, but look how look at outside. Look how dangerously this man wants to play. He just doesn't care. This Jakiro is just running right into the sniper. Anyway, he actually survives. Oh my God. He's actually made it out. Small KK is the one in danger. A beautiful ice path gonna land on two. That'll force the buyback. Glaive near out. Fly, fly. They caught him in the fountain. He's going crazy. Call. Full team wipe, triple kill, full fly fly, and that'll be enough. I mean, Pinky killer like a, like we've been saying, don't I? I...